What's up, everybody? I'm David Hain. Welcome to episode 188 of the A to D from Addict to Disciple podcast. If you enjoy this podcast, please like, subscribe, follow, and share the link with your friends. And speaking of friends, how about getting two friends to listen to this episode and then spend some time chatting about it with them? If you'd like to get our curriculum, you can get the paperback or ebook of From Ashes to Destiny on Amazon. When we come back, we'll get into this episode entitled Momentum or Mediocrity. Welcome back to episode 188 of the A to D From Addict to Disciple podcast entitled Momentum or Mediocrity. Well, let me get started by just defining those two terms. So mediocrity simply defined is accepting a lifestyle of not being really good at anything. And if that's you in recovery, my question for this episode would be, how do you find the momentum to get out of a lifestyle of mediocrity? And so what's a definition of momentum? To me, simply said, it's the strength or force that we gain by motion, by a series of events, by a series often in recovery of right choices. The picture that I get is sort of, you know, a bicyclist or a wagon rolling downhill. It picks up momentum all by itself. And if you think of a bicyclist, when they're going downhill, they no longer even have to pedal to keep going. They just lean in, get aerodynamic, and go with the flow, so to speak. So momentum really is a force that keeps us moving. And once we we keep moving, just this momentum keeps us going all by itself. And I believe that choices in the moment that we make every moment, every day, have enormous weight when they become momentum. You got that. Choices in the moment have enormous weight when they become momentum. Because we can really only see the momentum after it's come into existence. We can't make a choice and say, I'm on a roll now. Being on a roll, getting that momentum is a series of choices. So it's that gaining that power once the ball starts rolling. And the power, the, the image that I get is, you know, if a ball is rolling downhill and it's gaining speed and it's gaining power, if there's an obstacle in the way, it can just bounce into that obstacle and it caroms out of the way and the ball keeps going. And that's so much easier in recovery than just standing still, seeing an obstacle and trying to figure out how to gain the strength to just push it all by ourselves as a first step. And if we look at those, let's dig in a little deeper because most addicts start their recovery or rehab with some momentum. Often it's the result of motivation by family or friends. Sometimes it's the result of a threat. You know, get clean or else. Maybe it's, it's out of fear for your health or the threat of going to jail or losing your family or losing your job. As I've worked with people starting recovery over the years, one of the biggest frustrations I have is watching their enthusiasm and commitment fade. It's like watching that bicyclist lose momentum as they roll up a hill. And too often guys in recovery feel like that person on the bike and the hill is too steep to climb. Well, if you're saying that's you, or 
If you're a family member and this is a loved one that you're thinking about who's struggling in their recovery and they're ready to get off the bike and just give up, I'd like to ask some questions for you to think about. And I just want to give you an early warning. I've got a few Jimmy Buffett quotes that I'm going to throw in along the way for you parrot heads out there. So I'm going to start by asking, what has slowed you down? Why does recovery seem like an uphill battle to you? Could it be that you're frustrated because you feel like you're doing it alone? Or maybe you're disappointed because you think that no one understands how far you've come. Or they're not appreciating how far you've come. And they have no clue how hard it is for you to just keep going. If this is you, I want to encourage you to talk to your sponsor, your mentor, your coach. You have people who believe in you and who have good advice to help you keep your momentum going. And this brings us to our first Jimmy Buffett quote. And he said, older and wiser voices can help you find the right path if you're only willing to listen. So if you're feeling slowed down in this uphill battle and you feel that no one is really understanding you, I want to encourage you to begin to listen to the people who are listening to you, the people who are spending time with you, and see if you can get wisdom out of what they're saying. Next question I want to ask is, have you been distracted by thinking ahead rather than staying focused on the present? You know, when we get distracted by thinking too far ahead, we actually slow down and lose our momentum because we're too focused in the distance to see the steps we need to be taking that are right in front of us. And I think finding healing from the past while being 100% in the present ensures our future. You got that. We don't have to stay so focused on the future if we focus our activity on our healing in the present. And if we can get healing in the present from our past, our future will take care of itself. And Jimmy Buffett warns us, people who think too much before they act, don't act too much. So I think we have to not spend so much time just thinking about the future. It's just really focus on the next step, the next step in front of you and getting healed from the past. Another question I have is, who or what is draining your energy? You know, friction slows down momentum. Are you living with friction in your life? Are you living with friction in your living situation, in your relationships, in the people around you in recovery? And what can you do to eliminate that friction? And again, I did... I'd ask you if you've got a sponsor, coach, mentor, get them involved in understanding positive ways to deal with friction. Maybe you're losing your energy because you're just tired of waiting for results. You know, you're getting clean and sober, but your life's not coming together. And I understand that, you know, the waiting game is a lonely one. And I understand that it's easy to get tired of waiting for things that may never come. But if that's you, I'd like to echo what Charlie said in last week's episode. Consistently do the next right thing. You got that. When it feels like you don't know what to do next when it feels like you're tired of waiting for the things to come. Maybe you just need to slow down without losing momentum 
and do the next right thing. Maybe some of you out there feel too old to change. As I work with guys, especially in, in homeless shelters, I see lots of guys who reach an age where they've sort of just accepted this is my lot in life. Well, I want to encourage you, if that's you, to keep walking the walk. You've got more momentum going than you think just by getting up every day and walking the walk. You may not even realize how many younger guys are gaining strength in their recovery by watching you stand firm and stand strong and being resilient in all the stuff that's going on around you. And again, Jimmy Buffett has a quote for us. He said, I'm inspired by people who keep on rolling no matter their age. So if you're in the, the pensioner age or just older than those guys around you in recovery, I want you to keep on rolling because your motivation is inspiring to others. Well, there's probably some of you out there saying, yeah, I, I just need to figure out how to start momentum, how to really get this thing going. Well, I think the best way to start is take an inventory of your daily routine. Is it time for a spring house cleaning? What's caught in the cobwebs? Well, this is where the mediocrity comes in. What mediocrity have you accepted as normal? Have you accepted the fact that you just seem to be good at nothing is normal? Well, I want to challenge you to commit to excellence starting today. And excellence might involve looking at things that need to be rearranged in your daily routine. What people, places, and things are causing friction and slowing you down and making you feel like you're no good? Is it time to stoke your fire to feed the embers in your fire? Who can help you do that? How can you get it going? I think an easy way is focus on how you start your day every day. Start your day in a positive note. Maybe it's just as simple as greeting people going for a walk, thinking of things to be grateful for. Remember, momentum starts very, very easily. And once it starts, it's that ball rolling downhill that gains momentum and gains power every moment. In closing, I'd like to leave you with a challenge that Marlon Brando once said, which is never Surrender to the momentum of mediocrity. You got that? Never surrender to the momentum of mediocrity. Thanks for listening to this episode of the A to D from Attic to Disciple podcast. If you were saying that's me as you listened, if you were thinking, you know, I'm settling for mediocrity because I'm surrounded by other guys who are stuck in mediocrity in this rehab, in this shelter, in this program, or maybe even the mediocrity that you're living in a family where people say you're just not good at anything and you've never been. Well, I want to encourage you to focus on getting positive momentum. Take that first step to reach out to someone join a group. If you'd like to contact me, you can message me on the link in this podcast or by email at davidfromatod at gmail.com or go to my website www.fromatod.org and click on the contact page. Tune in Monday for our next episode and as always, stay safe and stay resilient.